A vacant furniture factory in York County is still a smoldering mess tonight. Two and a half days after the six alarm fire began in Stewartstown, southern York County. Seth Kaplan joins us now live with more. Seth. Alyssa Valerie, we wanted to bring you and our friends at home with us you, uh, here up above the warehouse. You could get a good look there at that still smoldering fire, as you said, two and a half days after it started. This borough's history dates to 1767, and folks who know say never in that two and a half century history had there ever been a fire quite like this one. Then it just happened to look up, and I saw you know, ash and things floating over my house. Embers landing more than three miles away. So we realized we had to, you know, look at some other windows around the house and see what was going on and discovered, you know, the giant fire uh, right over there. Christian Nelson. Firemen started knocking on doors in the neighborhood and telling people that they should leave. They hadn't gotten to his door, but his family wasn't taking any chances. My wife, 14-year-old uh, son and I were watching and then when we decided it was time to head out, we woke up my daughter and quickly packed. I didn't think the worst would happen, but you know, it, you're always wondering, what should I bring? You know, what's important? And just throw as much as you can in the bag and grab the dogs and get out. The fire chief continues declining to speak on camera, but has said in social media posts, firefighters feared losing homes. In the end, all were safe. No one was hurt, but what a change in fortunes for this site, a vacant furniture factory owned by a company related to a developer who has turned other warehouses into luxury apartments like he did in this downtown Hanover building. Fire chief says that was the plan here. Instead, this a fire not even entirely out there confident that it's contained within you know the brick structure and I trust them with the state fire marshal and local police investigating saying they're not ruling anything in or out but asking anyone in the area with cameras to check for suspicious people walking or suspicious vehicles in the area between 1 30 and 2 30 early Saturday morning everyone has their thoughts and so with those plans to renovate this building clearly dashed what will happen here instead who will take care of the cleanup those are questions for another day as we end this day with that fire still smoldering in york county seth kaplan abc 27 news